In example A, we're given the graph of f and we're looking for a number delta. Notice that epsilon is 0.2, so if we look around our limit of 1 here, we have an epsilon window of 0.2 in both directions, up and down. We're looking for delta, which is down here around our x value. So notice we have two windows. We have a delta 1 here and a delta 2 here. We're looking for the smaller of those two. And since we're given the graph and given all of the information already, there's relatively little work to do here. Delta 1 is 1 minus 0 0.7, which is 0.3. Delta 2 is 1.1 minus 1, which is 0 0.1. And we want the smaller of those. So delta is going to be 0 0.1. Or it could be any other smaller positive value. In example B, again, we're given the graph of f, and we are looking for the delta value for this particular graph. Delta 1 is the region between 2.6 and 3. Delta 2 is the region between 3 and 3.8. So delta 1 we can think of as 3 minus 2.6 or 0 0.4. Delta 2 is 3.8 minus 3, which is equal to 0 0.8. And we simply want the smaller of those. So the delta that we're looking for is 0 0.4. Or again, like example A, it could be any other smaller positive number.